Well, welcome everyone. My name is Cheryl. I'm the Community Development Director at the Washington Square Park Conservancy. I'd like to thank you all for joining us tonight on this uh, informational webinar. We'll be doing this again in person in February as well as March, but uh, this is kind of fun to do from the comfort of your own computer. Um, if you're taking part tonight, I assume you're interested in getting more involved in Washington Square Park, which is great. We love our volunteers. And even though it's February now, spring is right around the corner. So in a few months, we're going to be uh, in the park, and we want to welcome new and also our uh, veteran volunteers uh, into the park. So tonight, uh, in tonight's webinar, we'll talk a little bit about the Conservancy uh, and our work in the park. Um, and then obviously the meat of our time will be spent on our uh, four different volunteer programs, um, including what kind of each one offers and what your service would look like, uh, the commitment level necessary for each of the programs and when and how to get started with each. Um, and then again at the end I'll take your questions. So let's just jump right in. If I can, there we go. <laughs> so uh, the Washington Square Park Conservancy, our mission is to engage volunteers uh, as well as raise funds to keep Washington Square Park uh, clean, safe, and beautiful. We're actually quite young. Uh, we were formed in 2012 by people who uh, lived in and around the neighborhood um, following the park's big renovation um, from 2007 to 2014. And um, we work a little bit differently than some of the other conservancies. Um, we don't operate the park at all. We don't manage it all. What we do is we provide funds for staffing, supplies, and services. And all of our staff are hired from the New York City Parks Department. And uh, so Parks Department and uh, Conservancy staff uh, work together at the park to get things done. A little bit about us. Um, uh, our executive director and park administrator is George. I'm Cheryl. I'm our fundraiser and work with volunteers as well. Emily works on our communications and uh, and some volunteers as well. Um, our board is made up of local community members, uh, New York City Park staff members, um, our our um, community. Uh, community board members and uh, our council member from District 1 who is Margaret Chin. Um, and then of course all of our uh, uh, staff in the park, we have some full-time staff, some seasonal staff, and then staff who work in the parks district, which gets a little confusing, but um, we have a lot of people in and out of the park uh, 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 all, all year long. I love giving park stats. We're not the oldest park in New York City, but we're a pretty old park. Uh, Washington Square Park opens in 1827 following the closure of uh, what was a potter's field or a cemetery. Um, we're pretty small. We're only 9.75 acres. Uh, I think uh, Central Park is a little over 800, so um, we're pretty tiny. Um, but we're, he we're very, very busy, so what we, what we map lack in space uh, we make up for in people. Uh, we did a user count a few years ago and we estimate approximately 12 million visits each year um, and that broke down to a uh, sunny spring weekday 54,000 people in the park and uh, 45,000 uh, on a sunny summer weekday. Um, and for those of you who are knowledgeable about the area, that is uh, most likely NYU being in summer session that makes that amount go down. Um, we know we have, um, at least as of, of, as of a couple of years ago, 200 children uh, in and out of the large playground in the summer and 850 bags of garbage removed a week during those summer months. Um, so even more in uh, um, when it's busier. So, what, uh, so like I said, we're a pretty young organization, but this is just a synopsis of our, uh, of our park funding. Um, when we started in uh, basically raising money in 2013 um, up to, um, uh, up to, we have a fiscal year, but um, at the end of uh, uh, fiscal year 17, we're really trying to um, up what we give to the park. And uh, let me tell you a little bit what, about those, what those programs look like. So our mission, um, we have 
what we think of as like three buckets. So horticulture, so contributing to the green um, in the park, um, uh, maintenance and community. Um, so these are some of our gardeners that were at work uh, in the summer. Uh, we ha have a full-time uh, gardener all season long, um, in addition to two seasonal uh, uh, gardening staff, um, as well as contributing uh, flowers and the manpower to put them in. So uh, annual and uh, perennial beds throughout the park we refresh. Things like fencing, if there's a tool needed, uh, we'll supply that. We have uh, three maintenance staff in the uh, seasonal months who come and kind of take on those longer hours in the park. Uh, so um, we know as the day goes by, the park just gets busier and busier. So this is the late afternoon crew that starts at 2 um, and keeps going through 10 o'clock uh, in the height of the summer. And then um, as part of our community uh, programs, we have for the past several summers had a pro uh, playground associate, um, that's Gabriel, who was there two years ago, um, providing games and uh, supplies and um, putting together craft projects for the kids. We also uh, uh, produce our own programs. We have um, uh, we had a nature walk a few times uh, this year. We had a scavenger hunt for kids. We've had movie nights, um, as well as supporting other organizations doing. Uh, uh, programs in the park. And of course, why you're here, part of our community program is volunteering. Um, and uh, just a few stats for you. Um, in 2017, we had 87 volunteers. Um, now, a smaller majority of that group are the ones who put in all the hours. We only had uh, 24 greeters, weeders, and photographers. Those are our three committed programs, we like to call them. And they put in a majority of those 900 hours, if you'll believe it. Um, but our, our monthly volunteers um, uh, weren't quite lazy either. We planted over 30,000 bulbs this fall. We raked lawns and lawns and lawns of the leaves. Uh, we put in plants in the spring and we weeded and weeded and weeded in the summer. Um, so, so I'm just going to take a minute now. I'm going to go through all the different programs. Um, our, our monthly cleanups, we started a number of years ago. It's an easy way to get involved in the park. There's no commitment. There's no orientation. We work the first Saturday of each month, starting in May. Uh, we work early in the morning for two hours. And uh, if, if the day fits for you, you participate. If it doesn't, no worries. Um, it's one of the easiest ways to get involved, and we do a variety of work. Um, it could be gardening. It could be litter pickup. We could be planting. Um, we might be scraping stickers. There's, there's all different um, projects that are fun to do. And we do have folks who, um, who repeat. Um, they, they come back maybe not every month, but, you know, they'll come back a few times throughout the season and give back. Um, and the only thing you have to do is just um, tell us you want to come on a Saturday. That's all you need to do. Um, and you can tell us at volunteer at Washington Square Park Conservancy org. Our Wednesday weeders. So there's people worry and say, do I have to be a skilled gardener to take part in the Wednesday weeders? So Wednesday weeders are horticultural volunteers. They work on Wednesdays, uh, Wednesday mornings from 9 to 12. It's a small group. Um, you can see some of them on the screen right now. Uh, they really get a nice introduction to gardening in a public space. They work hand in hand with the park's gardener. Um, the, uh, uh, our, our gardener, Guy, leads this program for us, so he's on the ground, your supervisor in this program. You don't need to have gardened before or be skilled. You, we'll really show you, or Guy will show you what to do. Um, what we do ask is that you participate in a short orientation. We have um, one scheduled in late March and one in mid-April. All the dates are on our website. Um, and uh, uh, once you're there, it's really you get hands-on 
um, introduction. So you don't need to be a skilled gardener, but you should like to garden um, because that's all they do. <laughs> uh, so we call them Wednesday weeders because a lot of the work is actually weeding, but it's also season dependent, so they'll do a lot of planting. They'll get into uh, more specific projects like, um, like pruning where you need a little bit more skill level um, and, um, and they'll talk while they work. And uh, Guy tells me they take a coffee break and uh, at a particular time <laughs> um, during the morning and they really get to know each other and they've, um, it's, it's a nice group. So our, uh, our greeters program, we call our greeters Washington Square Park docents. Um, this program is a little bit harder to get in than most of the others because the orientation is a long process. We are, we've narrowed it down to one all-day orientation session. Um, but the greeters are really uh, folks who are assisting park users and uh, folks will ask questions uh, about the park itself or directional questions or uh, questions about what's going on. Um, and, and greeters must be, um, obviously they don't know all, but they have a really good sense of, uh, of the park and its history, its horticulture, and its current events. Uh, so uh, the orientation teaches greeters all, all that. Again, you don't have to have um, uh, any prior experience doing something like this to take part in this program. Um, and uh, so the greeters work in teams of two. Uh, we have uh, sessions on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 2. Um, just like the Wednesday weeders, we ask our greeters to commit to two sessions a month um, during the season, which runs from April to October. Um, there is an application for this program. It's due March 19th, um, and the uh, orientation isn't scheduled yet. There'll be two opportunities in April. Again, they take place on Saturdays or Sundays just because that's when you'll be volunteering if you join this program. The application is more to get a sense of um, what your interest is. Um, only one or two people who've ever submitted an application haven't participated. It's, um, it's more to make sure that you know what the program is and that you're ready and, and want to participate. Uh, so those are our greeters, and you see some of our first season greeters smiling uh, in the picture there. Um, our guides are uh, our guides are all greeters. So before you become a uh, a guide in the park and lead tours, you must go through the greeter training. You work right alongside greeters, and the tour is usually scheduled right towards the end of the greeting session. So again, Saturdays and Sundays um, in the park. Um, and, uh, and you'll work for your three-hour shift, and one of those hours will be a tour. Um, there's additional training that takes place for our guides once you've completed the greeter training. And then some of the work is on your own, and we'll get you guidance and direction um, to basically create your own tour of the park. Um, and it's a, it's a bit of a long process, and so we want people to be part of the greeter program first, and then you'll get a little bit more uh, comfortable in front of people, and then uh, once you go through the training, you'll be, you'll be ready to give tours. Um, and that's actually a picture of me giving a tour um, early in our first season. Um, that's me holding the papers, if you're wondering what I look like. <laughs> so uh, the, the last uh, uh, one of our committed programs is photography. So uh, our photography volunteers, um, and if anyone's interested in videography, it's the same uh, uh, for us. Um, so we ask for photographers for both specific in-park events and then also general park pictures. So, uh, so volunteers who are photography volunteers usually kind of work on their own schedule, um, although if you do want to sign up for to take a picture, to take photos at a specific event, uh, you can do that as well. Um, so, uh, so the timing is really kind of whatever suits you. It's not required to um, sign up for uh, uh, events when you become a photography volunteer. Um, just like the 
the greeters, and the Wednesday weeders. We ask for a total commitment of six hours each month. Um, the other two programs, there's specific times, and so we say two sessions of three hours each. Um, in this case, you can do your six hours uh, anytime you'd like. Um, and that does include any photo processing and uploading of the pictures as well. So um, it's a, you can kind of make your own schedule as a photography volunteer. Um, this, unlike the others, does require a skill level. You must be able to take a good picture. Um, and we hope that you like to take pictures as well. Um, so we ask for a uh, sample of your photography before we accept you into the program. Um, and then there is a short orientation. Um, we don't have any scheduled at the moment, but those are easy for us to schedule. So once we have a group of a few people, we'll, we'll put together some times that work. Um, and also not necessarily just during working hours. We'll do some um, in off hours as well. Um, and uh, our photographers uh, basically agree to let the Conservancy use your images on our online and print uh, channels. Um, <laughs> so we have printed newsletters, all of our social media, um, as well as our emails. Um, what's nice is we're able to give credit uh, when folks want it. Some people do, some people don't, and some people have their own online accounts, which we can link to according to what we're using it for and the like. So um, we'll get that all set up for you um, when you're in the orientation. So we do occasionally need volunteers for other, um, for other things. Um, I mentioned user counts. In the past, we have uh, conducted user counts of the park. Um, and we just make a call on our volunteer email list for people who can come out at specific times. Um, we have special projects uh, uh, that we've done once in a while that you know, we just will call out when, uh, when we need those, those experiences. Um, uh, like like for office, like stuffing envelopes and the like. And then sometimes people come to us and they say, I have a special skill and I want to use it. And those are really uh, volunteers where it's, you know, we, we tailor it to what they can, what they're able to do and then also what we, we need. Uh, we actually started our photography volunteer program because somebody came to us and said, I want to take pictures. Here's, here's what I want to do. And so we said, hey, this is kind of cool. And we actually wound up developing the program around that one volunteer. Um, and obviously, the program grew from there. So if you're interested in doing something other, then the idea is to contact us at volunteer at Washington Square Park Conservancy.org. So I thought I'd go through just a few frequently asked questions uh, because uh, I hear a lot of the same questions from folks uh, interested in volunteering. Um, so before we get to yours, I'll take a, take a look at what others, what others have asked. So um, folks sometimes are worried about the commitment issue. They'll say that generally they can, you know, commit to a season with us that for the most part they'll be able to do two sessions per month or six hours each month, but what if I go on vacation or what if I get sick? Um, obviously, life happens. Um, we've never thrown out a volunteer because they didn't complete all their hours in one month. Um, the idea is that you're, you, know, you open the lines of communication. We know what's going on with you. You just don't disappear off the face of the earth, and we're like, oh, wait, are they still volunteering? Um, so it's not a problem if, you know, if things come up or, or the like, um, and obviously we've had issues where somebody's life changes drastically. They decide to move from the city. They're not here anymore. We're not going to hold you to your commitment at that point. So um, some people want to work with their friends. Obviously, photography volunteering, that's a lot harder, but with the, uh, with the Wednesday leaders and the uh, greeters, it's very easy to schedule along with someone that you'd like to work with. We use a system, it's called Volgistics, um, and you'll get your own login, and you can keep track of your schedule, and you can see who's working on what day. So you will be able to, um, to schedule yourself with friends as long as 
um, it's a first come first serve basis so um, that's the only caveat um, another question I get a lot is do I have what it takes like I said there's no skill um, requirement except for photography um, and even then some we have varying levels of, of volunteers so some of our photography volunteers are incredibly uh, talented and work on the professional level where some use an iPhone and take you know photos that speak to them um, as long as it's a pretty good photo it's okay we haven't turned anyone away from that probe um, for the Wednesday weeders like I said you're gonna spend a lot of time outside doing physical work um, gardening uh, so sh you should really enjoy gardening if you're not sure if you enjoy gardening I recommend coming to some of our monthly cleanups um, see if you enjoy that work and then if you do then um, then Wednesday weeders is for you um, greeter guides um, again if you enjoy talking to people if you enjoy helping um, if you're not super shy this is a great program for you um, if you like spending time out in the park you know and sometimes you're not engaged all the time you get to do a little people watching then um, then this is a good program for you um, the folks who haven't had what it takes to be part of the program um, it's usually more of a time commitment than a skill issue um, like I said like if you're a greeter and you don't know an answer to a question that somebody asked that's okay you're not expected to know everything that ever happened in Washington Square Park um, so uh, it's more the attitude and um, and the ability to uh, converse with people that that makes the difference um, again it's usually a time issue um, that that uh, gets people to decide that they don't want to participate um, who else volunteers what's our volunteer pool like is a question we often get um, it's very varied although just a shout out to the ladies we have a lot more ladies than men um, so I would say it's about 60 40 or maybe 70 30 um, but we have younger we have older um, we have um, students we have um, you know various uh, nationalities and the like somebody once was able to talk Chinese to somebody as a greeter which was wonderful um, so we welcome um, we welcome everyone um, you know obviously if you can't bend over to you know pull out a plant or something like that then it might not be the volunteer position for you but we'll find something that fits for you um, and then the other the last frequently asked question is how do we get started uh, what's included in the orientation well, getting started is obviously different for each program as well as the orientation but it's spring is coming up so we're welcoming new volunteers at this point um, if you want to be a photography volunteer submit your photo if you would like to be a greeter um, submit an application that's due March 19th um, again orientation differs for each program so for our Wednesday leaders we talk about being safe as a gardener uh, making sure to take breaks um, some of the issues you need to watch out for dressing appropriately um, and then also just a little bit of using our system how to schedule yourself um, and making sure everyone knows all those details and then also getting you you know the equipment that you need to start the program um, if you are a greeter um, you're going the the orientation is going to be um, a lot more extensive so we um, we do history horticulture um, uh, events going on um, kind of rules and regulations of the park um, and it's the format is lecture walking um, in the park and then just some workshoppy uh, type uh, type sessions as well we do that um, we used to do multiple days um, and it got quite long we it's still long it's a full day orientation but we've cut back and paired and we're, we're going to be starting our third year I think we've learned a lot um, so um, and photography it's it's um, it's more about how you get your photos to us and um, how you label things and and the like and then if you do want to do um, some events how you sign up and how you log your hours um, 
All of the programs except photography have orientation dates right now. Both all of them are March and April, and we're going to list photography orientation in the next couple of days. Just a quick, uh, just a quick one. We do require all of our volunteers to sign a waiver on a yearly basis. It holds the Conservancy and the New York City Parks Department, um, which obviously owns Washington Square Park. Um, Li um, not liable um, for anything that may happen. Um, it's just an acknowledgement of risk and to indemnify us. Um, we, that said, we have never had an issue of somebody getting hurt or having a problem um, due to their volunteering with us. It really is just a, um, just a precaution. Um, but if anyone doesn't like to sign things, that is a requirement of all of the programs, including the monthly volunteering. And what's in it for you? Obviously, you're here because you like to volunteer um, and you get to give back to the park you love and hopefully in a way that makes sense for, um, for what your interests are. Um, a lot of our volunteers have found new friends. Um, a few of them now hang out outside of their uh, park service. Um, so you get to know your fellow volunteers. Um, you get to know a lot about what you're working on, whether it's, you know, park history or park horticulture. Um, and a lot of people also get to know park users. Um, we have a greeter who is now famous for getting to know some of our drug dealers in Washington Square Park. Um, but she enjoys it. She really likes talking to people and, um, and enjoys just the, the whole ambiance of, of the park. So um, we do offer, we call it continuing education for our volunteers. It's not required, but they're usually fun evenings where you get to uh, learn something a little bit new, um, visit a garden or maybe a green roof or a, a historic space along the park or um, something of the like, but everyone seems to enjoy them. Um, and it's just a way to kind of keep up your, your, uh, your chops and to do something a little social as well. And then of course, you know, we like to um, reward our volunteers. So we have fun, um, fun things that we give you um, as you, as you log your hours and the like. So um, our, uh, our horticulture volunteers, our Wednesday weeders, really seem to love clothing. And it's probably because they get it all so dirty. But, um, but it's just another fun experience as part of your volunteer service. And then finally, because we're at the end, um, if you have questions now, I'm happy to, um, you can just type them in that little chat box. It's the little, little speech bubble that you see in your menu. Um, you can also email us with any questions you have, anything on your mind. Um, the email address is volunteer at Washington Square Park Conservancy.org. I know it's a long URL. Um, you can also visit our, uh, our, our volunteer page on our website, Washington Square Park Conservancy.org slash volunteer forward slash volunteer there's descriptions of all the programs plus all those orientation dates and applications um, thank you so much for joining us tonight and i hope some of you come out and uh and volunteer for us i'm very much looking forward to a new season in the park with our amazing volunteers thank you <laughs>